happy Wednesday. I'm so sorry that Simple Solutions kept messing up on us yesterday, but good news is today we are not doing reflex. As long as you're caught up with Monday and Tuesday, this will be a great day to play catch up if you'd miss one of your green light days. All right, so today we're working on Simple Solutions Quiz 21. If you did not get 20 completed yesterday, then your two lessons for today are 20 and 21. Let's get started. One batch of pancake batter can make eight pancakes. How many pancakes will four batches of pancake batter be? Well, that will be eight times four, 32. Round 492 to the nearest hundred. Find the place, look next door. If it's five or more, we raise the score. Find the difference, 702 minus 298. Okay, let's pull up our scratch paper. Guys, you have to use your scratch paper. I can tell who's using scratch paper at home. Those 30s and 40s, friends, that is not the work that I see in the classroom. I know you can do better. I know you've got this. You cannot take eight from two, but I cannot borrow from zero. So I'm gonna come next door and box out that 70, make it 69, make this a 12. 12 minus eight is four. This should be a nine now. Nine minus nine is zero. And then the six goes up here. Six minus two is three. Oh, my goodness, is four. Oh, see, it's Wednesday, right? 404. Okay, 40 divided by five. What times five is 40? Eight times five is 40. Trina must spend at least 20 minutes reading each evening. If she starts reading at 835, what is the earliest time she can finish? 35 plus 20 is 55. 8, 55, but let's look. A.M., she's reading in the P.M. Those are the type of things that will trick you up. Use the distributive property to solve 7 times 11. Well, right off the bat, I know that 7 times 11 is 77. So it can only be this, but we solve parentheses first. 7 times 6 is 42. 7 times 5 is 35. Find the sum. 417 plus 382. Okay, so I'm going to come down, write it on my scratch paper. 7 plus 2 is 9. 1 plus 8 is 9. 4 plus 3 is 7. 799. Choose the two letters that represent one whole. Okay, so we know that a whole is when our numerator and our denominator are the same. So that is going to be 4 fourths, and 4 fourths is also equal to E. So E and G are one whole. Find the area, multiply the side length. 8 times 7, 5, 6, 7, 8. 56 equals 7 times 8. 40 times 8. Well, I know that 4 times 8 is 32, and then I add my zero because it's a multiple of 10. What fraction is shaded? Well, I already have the two cats that are shaded, but I just count the cats in all. Two, four, six, eight cats in all, so two eights are shaded. Choose 455 as a base 10 number. That is just standard form. There are 64 crayons divided equally among eight containers. How many crayons are in each container? 64 divided by eight. Eight times what is 64? Eight times nine is 72. Eight times eight is 64. We know it's not gonna be eight times 56 or eight times 18. Eight times eight is 64. Find the product three times eight. Eight, 16, 24. One inflatable pool takes 284 gallons of water to fill and another takes 301 gallons of water. The largest inflatable pool takes 630 gallons of water. How much more, that is our subtraction words, is needed to fill the largest pool than the two smaller ones together? Okay, so we're gonna pull up. Let's go ahead and clear this out. Get a new one. No, I don't need to save. So we have 284 plus 
301. 4 plus 1 is 5. 8 plus 0 is 8. 2 plus 3 is 5. Okay, now I can come over here and do 630 minus 585. I can't take 5 from 0, but I can go next door and get 10 more. 10 minus 5 is 5. I can't take 8 from 2. A 12. 12 minus 8 is 4. 5 minus 5 is 0, so 45. 45. And that is all. Let's see how we did. Today we got 100. Great job, guys. Don't forget, today you are going to be working on quiz 20, if you didn't get to it yesterday because Simple Solutions was down, and 21. If you're behind on reflex, if you didn't get finished with your reflex on Monday and Tuesday, today's a great way to catch up before the field trip on Friday. You don't want to miss that. I love and miss you all bunches. Bye, guys.